Hello guys welcome to instrument hub I am Bibin here today we are going to discuss about magnetic flow meter it is transmitter this device sending to the signal from field to DCS this is the main part of the magnetic flow meter this is a coil and this portion installed between on the pipeline according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction it is working what is faraday's law how it is working you can see this animation video two field coils are located inside each electromagnetic flow meter with the help of what are termed pole shoes these coils generate a constant magnetic field over the entire cross-section of the measuring tube. Two electrodes which can pick up electrical voltages are installed at a right angle in the wall of the tube. The lining fitted on the inside wall prevents electrical short circuits between the conductive liquid and the metallic tube. If there is no liquid flow, no induced electrical voltage is measured at first between the two electrodes. The electrically charged particles of the conductive liquid are evenly distributed, shown here in water with red and blue particles. However, as soon as the liquid starts to flow in the measuring tube, the magnetic field applies a force to the charged particles. As a result, the positively and negatively charged particles in the liquid are separated and collect on the opposite sides of the tube wall. Now an electrical voltage forms, which is detected and measured by the two electrodes. This voltage is directly proportional to the flow velocity in the pipeline. Together with the known tube cross-section, the flow volume can then be calculated. The greater the flow velocity, and thus the separation of the charged particles, the greater the electrical voltage between the electrodes. The electrodes also detect what is called interference voltage, which has to be separated from the actual measuring signal. One method that has been successfully used for this purpose is to create the magnetic field with a pulsed direct current. To do so, the polarity of the magnetic field is alternately reversed, illustrated here in slow motion. The voltage picked up on the measuring electrodes now constantly changes in polarity. As a result, all constant interference voltages can be eliminated. For example, electrochemical effects in the liquid or external electromagnetic fields. Thus, the size of such interference voltages has no impact whatsoever on the actual measuring signal. The advantages of this are a stable measurement. How many parameters need this flow transmitter working properly in the field? Next, I'm going to show you the calibration and parameter setting on actual field. Press arrow key for 2.5 seconds. Quick setup. Language. Tag number. Reset. Reset is for your counter reset. Error reset. Error reset. Yes. Then counter one reset. Counter one reset. Yes. Counter two reset. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Then we have to go back, this analog input, flow unit, flow, volume flow, mass flow will be there, unit will be meter cube per hour, range 0 to 1 to 5 0, low cutoff frequency, time constant, okay, this much parameters we have to feed, then we have to go back, digital output we are not giving it, so okay. Then you have to come on the test. A test. Test is for the stimulation. You go in test. 
if suppose you are not getting 4 to 20 milliamps you can stimulate from here and check the cable sensor cable everything is the information stimulation process then setup in setup we have a process input here is a calibration filter self test okay enter the self test you have to do the empty pipe detection conductivity plus empty pipe so once we install the new sensor we have the pipe is empty and the conductive sensors which are installed there so you have to just mention conductivity plus empty sensor so automatically it will come to zero so this is the only setup we have to do in Krone ye 1FC100 sensor is Krone 1FC100 next calibration method is key password and go quick setup and setup process input we can see the calibration of said option inside then going calibration then zero calibration will going to perform first it is showing break and go down you can see the auto calibration enter on the auto calibration after there is one duration coming you can see 30 second and timing already started after this timing or after this particular duration calibration will go into success but not one point before the calibration need to charge full line without flow only we can do the zero calibration next we have a look for cable connection we have cable from DCS this is main element that means coil inside have a connections as well as we have transmitter transmitter also we have lot of connections this transmitter connection first is 24 volt DC it is the main power of this flow transmitter and uh, this is DCS analog input cable and next coming coil cable and uh, and the last one is electrode cable this all cable before the installation we need to proper connection and check from field to DCS